good youtube i'm back here with yet another video my name is justin and today we're doing a oil change on my 2023 genesis g70 we're on our way to auto parts store now so i'm gonna get back to you guys when i get over there hey guys, we Peace. just pulled up to the auto parts store we're here at o'reilly's here to pick up the oil leave me a comment down below which guys do you get your oil from which auto parts store or store do you guys pick up your oil leave me a comment down below what y'all think the oil section over here and the oil we need for our car is 0 w30 and it's gonna be yep right here zero w30 35 bucks and for our car we need six quarts so i'm gonna get one of these and one of those up here yeah six quarts and we're gonna go get the oil filter right now so we just got the stuff right now and it turned out to be just 56.85 in total which is not bad and not cheap either got the oil filter here in case y'all need the part number there it is down there and we got our oil and let's head back to the house and let's change this oil we just made it back right now i just pulled it in the bay here i got the oil back here i gotta pull it out all right guys so we got the oil the six quarts the filter got everything else i'm gonna go ahead and do it <clears throat> On the lift, you guys can use whatever jack stands, ramps, and do it there. But I'm going to do it on the lift so you guys can see it easier for the video. What I do is I pop this ahead of time, get this open already. I just open the cap here to make it easier to drain quicker. Put that to the side. And let's start lifting. I'm going to put the car up on the jacks real quick. I'll show you guys that. So I got the car in the air and the first thing we got to do is we got to remove this tray right here to access our oil or oil, pl oil plug so I'm gonna go ahead and take out these bolts if you're wondering what size these bolts are they're all 10 millimeters so I'm gonna go ahead and take those out right now remove the tray pull it out there you go, we got access to the oil drain. All right, now that we got the cover out, I'm gonna show you guys where it's at. It's right, right here. That's your oil drain. So we're gonna get that and your oil filter is right next door. I'm gonna give it about 10, 15 minutes for it to cool down. It's really hot still. So I'm gonna let that cool down real quick and then we're gonna remove those two first. Now that I gave the vehicle about 10 minutes for it to cool, we're gonna take out that drain bolt right there. And for that size, that size is 17. I'm gonna use a long bar essential because sometimes these are, these bolts can be hard to take out. I already got my drain right here ready. So let's, let's get removing it. Just like that guys, it's cracked already. Get this up. Watch out, because this oil is still really hot even after 10 minutes. There you guys go, just like that. Yep, they get oil everywhere. So I gotta wait till it cools down. So that oil is drained, we can go ahead and take out the oil filter. So I'll wait till that's done draining. I'll put the bolt back in, uh, tighten it snug, and then we'll take out the oil filter next. And what you guys want to use with that for that oil filter is we got our oil filter removal tool right here you guys want to use this it comes in handy to take it out because you can't take it out by hand because it does get stuck but when you come to tightening you could tighten it by hand it's pretty easy now that i waited a couple minutes for it to drain it's still dripping a little but that's fine so i'm gonna go ahead and put the bolt back just go ahead and tighten it up real quick all right so i'm gonna go ahead and tighten it by hand make sure we don't cross thread anything go ahead and clean that up and we'll just tighten up that real quick with your 17. Let's give that a good snug. Go ahead and snug it up a little. And that's good like that. So let's go. I'm going to show you guys how to take out that oil filter. And you do want to keep your drain pan or oil catch can underneath because it is going to spill maybe a little bit oil through there now that i've drained it might be a little might not spill anything but i'm gonna go ahead and keep this on there so we don't make a mess so i'm gonna go ahead and take that out for you guys so right now i'm gonna go now. ahead and remove that oil filter i'm gonna use my tool oil filter removal tool to loosen it go ahead and move this out the way so i got space and then we're gonna go ahead and loosen it sometimes it slips a little but we'll get it 
yeah, it's still really hot, guys, so. All right, we got it loose. Go ahead and put this up. Like I said, it might spill a little oil, so we're gonna go ahead and put this higher and we'll unscrew it by hand. Yep, there you go, that's what I mean. So, screw that, yep, let me get a rag. Use this and we'll just let it drop in there. Yep, there you go. And just like that, we got it removed. And go ahead and lower this. Let the oil drain a little bit from there while I get the new oil filter. It's got the new oil filter here. Unbox it. Here about this thing. There we go. And what I like to do is I like to just double check, make sure it's the same. And yep, they're the same. And when you guys always put a new filter, if you guys don't want to get stuck, just get a little oil. Doesn't matter, clean or not. Rub it on the seal right here like that. For next oil change, it'll be easier to take out and it won't stick as hard. So let's go ahead and put this on. Screw it on by hand first, and you could tighten it on all the way by hand. You don't need a tool to put it back on, so. Go here, hand tight, a little bit more. And just like that, oil filter's on. We got the bolt put on all the way, so I'm going ahead and wipe off all the, any oil that was dripping, just to make sure it's not leaking. And we'll go ahead and lower the car and fill up with oil. I'll show you guys that. We got all the oil drained out. We put everything back. I'm about to put the oil in, so. What I recommend is use an oil funnel just to make sure you don't spill any oil and start smoking everywhere. So we got that in. We're going to pour six quarts of oil. I already got all six quarts. If you have the V6, the twin turbo V6, I believe that one takes a little over seven quart, if not exactly seven. But this one in particular takes six quarts. So let's go ahead and fill it up right now. So all six, I got... This one, Mobile One, that's the one they only one they had for this oil type, uh, Zero W30 weight oil. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in right now. And like I said, it takes all of it. So we're gonna go ahead and put all of it real quick. Just like that, we already got one in. And just like that, we got all six in. Doesn't take that long. So we're gonna go ahead and let this drain out completely. I believe that's all of it yeah all right we got all six quarts in there so we're just gonna clean this and get the rag spilled a little bit of oil here but just wipe that off be careful not trying to knock any dirt in there otherwise it wouldn't be good all right got that clean put that to the side put our cap back on Tighten it to here one click. There we go. Now we just turn on the car, let it run for a bit, let the oil circulate. So let me do that real quick. And that's it guys, all you need to let it do is run for about like 20, 30 seconds and the oil so it circulate through. Now we're just gonna check the oil, make sure it's full. Um, let me get my rag. So we're gonna check the oil. Go ahead and clean it first. And then just check it now. And yep, she's perfect, right on the dot. Let me know if you guys, I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. Let's see if she'll focus right up there, right on the dot. And just like that, oil has changed. Hopefully I made it easy for you guys to change your car's oil. And just like that, we got her change. Usually I change my oil every four to 5,000 miles, just to make sure it's clean. So we got that all set. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. 
So we're gonna go ahead and close everything since it's all done. And I'm gonna show you one more thing, guys, how to reset your oil light. Or your oil service, I mean. So go ahead, just turn on your car like you normally would. Let all this system go on. And then for this car in particular, you just go to your settings up here. Go to vehicle right here and it should be all the way on the bottom. Down to convenience, you just hit that button and oil change reminder right there. So, uh, your oil change reminder is literally right here. You just hit reset, reset your oil life. And that's all you gotta do, just that. Be back at 100% right there and then you're all set. And that's it guys. Guys, that's gonna wrap it for that video and that's how you do an oil change on a 2023 Genesis G70. And I hope I made it easy for you guys and that's gonna be the end of the video. So leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Let's get to 500 subscribers, maybe even a thousand. And I'll post more videos like this of fixing cars. It could be different cars and doing stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing more videos on cars. Just let me know in the comments down below what you guys wanna see next. And like I said, that's it for this car. Hopefully I made it easier for you guys. Like, Till the next one, guys. Peace out. My name's Justin.